morning and Merry Christmas. A lot of you guys are getting out of bed. Maybe you've unwrapped some gifts. Uh, maybe breakfast is being made. Kids are watching the parade. I know that's one of the things I love to do is get up and watch the parade on Thanksgiving and Christmas morning. Uh, this year's a little bit different though, isn't it? But it's okay to have different. When we look at what Christmas is, Christmas is about things being different. A little theology for you on Christmas. I promise you, I'll only take just a couple minutes. When we read in the Old Testament, if you look at it with the wrong lens, the wrong way, you will think that God is angry, that, that God is nothing but wrath, and that, that God is always punishing the Israelites in the midst of their chaos and disobedience. But when you look at it the right way, and instead of looking at it from your angle, try to look down from God's angle. And you'll see that God is always making new covenants with us, making um, new, say, agreements with us that if we would just be obedient, if we just take care of each other, if we just follow the directions, if we would just care for the least of these. I mean, this is all throughout the Old Testament. You will see that God is constantly loving us. God is constantly forgiving us. God is doing everything he can for us. But we're still disobedient. Let's fast forward to the New Testament. To Christmas morning, where things become new, and as John 1 says, the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And what that really means is everything in the Old Testament, right? Everything that we're supposed to do, the way we care, the way we love, the way we turn our cheek and, and stop fighting and quit putting yourself first and, and quit acting like everything is your right. And we get back to God, right? Get back to God and everything in the Old Testament now just became flesh because you and I needed an example to follow because everybody twists up the interpretations of the Bible for what they want it to be instead of what it is. That's why I've spent years studying the Bible, right? Everybody's got an opinion, but I don't want an opinion. I want to know. And so everything in the Old Testament that, that God was trying to show us, we kept messing up, became flesh. And Jesus became the example of God's love and word. That's what today is. And as we get see throughout the Old Testament, what God was doing, now we get it when we watch Jesus take care of the, the Samaritan woman, uh, the woman caught in adultery, uh, the woman at the well, the, the woman who bled for years, Jairus' daughter. I mean, the list goes on and on and on about how God slash Jesus loved us and forgave us and gave us new chances and new life and how Jesus was inclusive and loved everyone and cared for everyone. He didn't condone sin. He, he would love us and say, go sin no more, right? Because Jesus loves us so much. He wants us with him in heaven. But this morning is different. It, it's the Christmas you've never had, but just remember that first Christmas when Jesus laid in, in a little bitty wooden trough, right? The manger. It was different. It wasn't where Mary and Joseph wanted to have Jesus. They, they had the midwife and they had Mary's mom and all these people to help with this birth. But everything looked wrong. And maybe this morning it looks wrong to you. Maybe you don't have all the people around the table you thought you were going to have. Maybe you weren't able to get the gifts you thought you would because you've lost your job because of this um, pandemic. But just remember, God works in the different, different scenarios. Remember, everybody was messing up the Old Testament. So God sent his only begotten son to earth to show us the example that for thousands of years, God was trying to redeem you and I. And man, we mess up interpretation. So I don't know about you. I'm a visual learner. And I think that's the way we all are. So God's like, let me show you. Let me show you how to love each other. Let me show you how to care for each other. Let me show you how to love the least of these. Let me show you. And man, I needed to be shown. The gift of forgiveness and grace is amazing. Even Jesus, it, it, as we now transition for Christmas Eve, later on, Jesus is like, I no longer call you my disciples. I call you my friend. Man, that's huge. Like God loves us so much. He calls us his children and his friends through Jesus Christ. Today marks the beginning of the word becoming flesh and dwelling among us. 
as you look around your family, whether it's on Zoom, on the phone, or in the flesh, those are a gift. God gave us family. And because of Jesus, we now get to be part of the family of God. Hey, God bless you. And remember, Merry Christmas. God loves you. So do I. I really do pray I get to see you soon.